Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today's video is going to be a review on the Lange Curling Wand. I actually was not planning on filming this video, but I posted a photo of this wand on my Instagram and my Snapchat, and a ton of you guys requested me to film a review on it and let you guys know my thoughts. So that's what this video is going to be today. The first portion, I'm going to be reviewing the wand, and in the second part of the video, I'll be giving you guys a demo. Half because I want you guys to see the wand in action, and half because I've had so many requests recently to do hair tutorials and show you guys how I curl my hair. So if that's something that you have been interested in, stay tuned until the end of the video to see that. If you guys are new, I would love to have you subscribe. I upload videos twice a week on Wednesdays and Sundays at 9 a.m. Eastern. But let's go ahead and jump into the review. All right, so this was sent to me by Lange, but that being said, all opinions are my own, all opinions are always my own. Regardless of whether or not a product was sent to me, I'm going to give you guys the pros and the cons and let you know if I like it or not. So they sent me this along with some of their line of their hair care products. I haven't had too much of a chance to play around with those, so I don't necessarily have an opinion on the hair care products just yet, but the wand I've actually been really enjoying. So this is the box that it comes in, gorgeous, and you slide it out. And you have this really nice like velvety inside and the wand was inside of here. I've taken it out because I just curled my hair with it. I've used this about four times now so I have a pretty good understanding of my thoughts on the wand. Just to give you guys an overview, the wand retails for $99. This one is the 33 millimeter or 32 millimeter? It's 32 millimeter. They also have a 25 millimeter one if you like a little bit smaller of curls. This is the titanium one. They also have a ceramic one. The titanium one is about $10 more than the ceramic one, but if you have hard to curl hair, I would recommend getting the titanium one. I got mine in blush pink because I love blush pink, but it also comes in black if you didn't want to do such a feminine color. So first and foremost, I do think $99 is a lot of money for a curling wand because I have other curling wand and hot tools that I've gotten at the drugstore that I think are pretty pretty good and significantly less. That being said, in terms of a high-end hot tool, I think $99 is on par, but I wish it was just a little bit cheaper. But I've seen so many coupon codes going around recently, so if you are planning on picking this up, I would look for one. I don't have one myself, but I've seen just di even different ones on their website, different ones from YouTubers, or They've actually had a lot of giveaways recently, so if you are looking for this, try to find yourself a coupon code. So the actual wand itself, I really do enjoy. I will be honest, I don't think it's like changed the game for me, like it's way better than any other curling wand that I've used, but it is a very high quality product. My curls last for a long time when I use it, and I do have hair that really doesn't hold curl for too long, so to see the shape lasting for more than a couple days is a plus for me. In terms of the actual wand, it has a swivel cord, which is super convenient. I always appreciate a swivel cord. It comes with a glove, which is nice. I used the glove the first couple times I used it, but I haven't used the glove since then because personally, I like the control that I have without a glove, so I would just prefer not to use it. But it is nice that they throw that in there. It's a nice quality glove. You're not going to burn your hands through it or anything like that. One thing I wish was different about the wand, I do wish and I don't wish, I don't know, is that it had a tip on the end of it. So, so the curling wand that I used to use, this is by Remington, this is like a cheapo wand, not the best but it gets the job done. It has a little tip at the end so I don't have to worry about burning myself, like with this wand I burnt my neck pretty bad because I accidentally let it touch my neck, that's my own fault, not really the wand's fault, but it is nice to have a tip at the end of a wand so that you can like place it on your hand when you're catching the curl. So that's kind of where the glove comes in handy. So you make it work. It's really not a big deal, but personally I'd like to have a tip at the end. But I do think it looks better without the tip, so I'm like, eh, whatever. Also there is no temperature control on this. So the temperature you get is the temperature you get. You can't, you can't set it to any specific setting, which is definitely a negative if you're someone with very coarse hair and need it really hot, or if you're someone with really fine hair and don't want to put on too much heat, there's really no option for it. The, the temperature that it heats up to is just fine. I don't find it to be way too hot or way too cool. 
it's fine, but I do wish I had the option to pick whatever temperature I wanted. But I do think it's very easy to use, especially with the swivel cord. Like you'll see in the video, when I do this part of my hair, I kind of turn the wand downward and I don't have to worry about the cord getting in the way. This heats up very quickly. It does a good job curling my hair. The curls last a while. It's super cute. Overall, I think it is a very good wand. I will say if you already have a curling wand that you like, I don't necessarily think this one is like a game changer, like you have to get rid of your current one and go buy this one instead. But if you have been in the market and don't have a curling wand, this is one I would definitely recommend, especially if you're like myself and really appreciate the blush color of it. Overall, I was very impressed with this. I've enjoyed using it and all my friends keep saying that it's super cute, which I totally agree with. So I would check out Lange if you're in the market for a new hot tool. I've been very satisfied with this one. And now let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial slash demo portion of the video. So I'm going ahead and starting off by doing one side of hair. I take little sections, I put them on the wand and wrap them away from my head. And I hold them for probably 10 seconds before I release them into my hand. And then I hold them in my hand for different amounts of times for whichever look I'm doing. But for this specific look, I held them for about 10 seconds. But if I was ever doing a look that was a little more casual and I didn't want the curls to be as tight, I wanted them to be more wavy, I would hold it for less time. So the longer that you hold it, the more like curl curls that you're going to get. So if you're looking for volume, I would hold them for a while, but if you're just looking for waves, I wouldn't hold them for too long. So for this particular look, I took about one inch sections all the way around my head but sometimes I might be going for more of a wavy look and in that situation I would use bigger sections and less sections. So in this one you're gonna see I do a bunch of little curls, but that's because I wanted like lots of big volumey curls when I comb them out in a little bit. But for more of a day-to-day -day look, I might do five curls on one side and five curls on the other side. So you can really customize this look. This is the basic technique that I use anytime I curl my hair and you can use this to kind of get some of the different looks that you've seen me wear on my channel. Also, I do want to point out that sometimes you see me wearing looks on my channel and it started off, it started off as this hairstyle but it had fallen because I'd worn it for a couple days. So sometimes when you, when you guys see me with more relaxed curls, it's because I originally did my hair like this and now I'm on like third day hair, so they're starting to fall out. So that's something that's really nice about this hairstyle is that you can wear it for a few days. And when I curled my hair this time, it was super dirty. So I actually made it even more voluminous and big, which is always a plus. So right now what I'm doing is brushing out the curls. I take a big paddle brush and really, really thoroughly brush through them so they don't look like Shirley Temple curls anymore. Before I do this, I have sprayed a little bit of hairspray in there. My favorite is the Kenra hairspray, but that's basically all I do. Curl them, hold them, brush it out, and ta-da! This is the completed look. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was informative and I will see you in my next one. Bye!